We are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. So if we somehow get there by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we got some great giveaways for you guys. We're giving away a collector's edition. We're also going to be giving away a special Zelda edition OLED. And, you know, we're trying to switch OLED, of course, not the TV. And don't forget the pin from PAX East. We got one of those for you guys as well. And maybe some other giveaway prizes as we're working with some companies to make that 100K special awesome. You guys are amazing. And let's get into this video. So... Look, there's been a number of rumors for Tears of the Kingdom that we have covered and discussed, uh, some of which are true and some of which are not true. Now, there's some that I've been the source on, and for me, I don't consider those to be rumors. But for other things I'm covering from other people, whether it's fellow YouTubers, 4chan, uh, Reddit, random people on Twitter, whatever we're covering, uh, those are obviously things we take with a grain of salt. But there is a batch of rumors that we covered from our dear friend Mike Odyssey that appear to have a lot more validity today than it might have seemed at the time. In fact, there was a lot of people yelling that these rumors are fake back then, which I found to be fascinating since some of them could probably be discerned just from looking at the current footage we had in the trailers, or at least assumed but not known. Here's the thing. After we got that gameplay footage, some of that stuff was confirmed, and it makes you wonder about the rest of it, including a date for the Nintendo Direct for Zelda. And again, I don't know if we're getting a Direct. I don't have any personal sources on a Direct for this. But it is still possible, and I'll explain why. But let's get into the things that were confirmed from our dear friend Mike Odyssey. First off, the whole Fuse ability. Well, they didn't give us a name. They did mention that you could do things like attach eyeballs to arrows to create a homing arrow. And they said you'd be able to attach pretty much anything else in your inventory. You know, in this case, we now know it's like the food and monster part inventory to your arrow. This has all been confirmed, and we saw this in the gameplay itself, which is pretty interesting. And of note, these rumors from Mike Odyssey and his source came before the art book leak. So while some of this you could say, oh, this was confirmed in the art book leak, these rumors existed before then. That's what makes them very, very interesting because it's pretty hard to know the exact thing. Like Maybe you would have figured out the eyeball, but knowing that the rest of the inventory could also be attached to the arrow, that is obviously a credit to my Odyssey and his source on this. In addition, there was rumors in his stuff about the abilities, the Ascend and Ultra Hand abilities specifically, and how those function. And without needing to really restate the rumor, what we saw in the gameplay is exactly what was described in the rumors, how Ascend and Ultra Hand works. Now, we saw these abilities slightly being used in prior trailers, but we didn't know the full extent. Like, Ascend would be going through the ceiling of anything, whether it's a cave or a cage or whatever. And that's really, really cool that we got some of those details from like Odyssey Source back then. But what's also neat is if that was true, then how about the other parts of his rumors that aren't confirmed yet? Are they true as well? Let's talk about this one that's really, really interesting and probably true, and that is different elemental gliocks. We all saw the three-headed gliok, the fire gliok on the bridge. At least we assume it's a gliok. It probably is a Gliok. I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed in the art book, but whatever. Most people already figured out that it is a Gliok because that's the only other time we had a three-headed dragon in Zelda. Uh, what's interesting, of course, is that there's supposed to be different elemental versions, so like a Thunder, a Malice, uh, maybe an Ice Gliok. So I find this to be highly plausible anyways, but now that we have some of these rumors confirmed, it just makes me really think this is going to happen. Uh, next up, there was also some stuff about the blue flame that we used at Pura's little shop. You know, we're doing those upgrades on the hill, uh, how that flame doesn't exist anymore. And we've sort of seen that in the footage that it kind of looked like it didn't exist. Uh, but actually, Pura is still going to be able to do stuff, but it's going to be powered by a different type of tech. We could probably presume at this point it's a Zonai tech, but... We'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, the green swirls we saw everywhere were supposedly fast travel points, which makes a lot of sense because it does appear that those green swirls also happen to be new potential shrines. And as we know in Breath of the Wild, when you did shrines, those became fast travel points. So now if we have Zonai shrines, those would be the new fast travel points. We would probably have a safe presumption. Now, when it comes to the story of the game, there wasn't a lot of details other than 
the beginning of the game does have a time jump from, well, Breath of the Wild, the ending of Breath of the Wild. Like, there's some sort of time jump. We don't know how long the time jump is. I think it's probably at least a couple of years, but, uh, well, you know, we honestly don't have enough details to know exactly, but there is a time jump. Uh, also mentioned in his rumors were that enemy horns uh, were fusible or craftable, uh, which looks like a pretty safe assumption. We haven't seen that in the raw gameplay yet, but it's a pretty safe assumption. Those horns will be either used in a separate crafting at like a village or something, or that you'll just be able to directly fuse it right off the ground, right? That That's obviously a possibility with that fuse feature. And thus, that was teased by Mike Odyssey Source. Uh, there, there also will be shrine or equivalents to shrines in the sky, which again, pretty safe assumption. Uh, but they're going to the ones in the sky in particular are going to feel more like dungeons that have bosses at the end. And that that golem we saw that square golem beast is supposedly one of those bosses. And again, that's all interesting information that, you know, we don't have confirmed, but we have to pay more attention to due to the stuff that Mike Odyssey put out there that was confirmed from the exact same source. Now, Mike Odyssey had a different source contact him and tell him a supposed date for a Tears of the Kingdom Direct. And I think right now, the idea of there being a Direct is a little up in the air. We just got the gameplay session. What's going to stop them from just doing like a Tuesday gameplay every single week? That would be kind of cool, uh, but obviously they could do a bigger Direct. Nintendo does do big Directs for almost all of their big games, and they do it about a month out. And a month out from May 12th, is April 12th, and that is the exact date that one of my Odyssey's sources told him. Now, I personally didn't see this. I know it was some sort of email. Uh, I didn't see the email. I know that Mike, I think, ha uh, he was he tried showing it to me at PAX East, but I really wasn't paying attention at the time, and I know he showed it out to Andres Restart, who could obviously confirm he saw the emails, but I will say that uh, April 12th does feel like a pretty safe date. It is exactly a month out, which is what they did for Splatoon 3 and Xenoblade and I get it. So it makes sense that that could be the date. It does land on a Wednesday, which is a traditional Nintendo Direct day. Uh, so, I, look, it's a week after the Mario movie. You know, I, I can see this being a thing. I personally would like to see, like, a 45-minute Treehouse-style gameplay session. But, you know what? If we just get her Direct, it gives us story details, more trailers, more information on the abilities, uh, and maybe announcing some of these new... Uh, new editions of the game that I've been kind of hinting exist. Like there's a master's edition that features a, a new sword. I'm not going to, I don't want to give away too many details because we're working on getting some images for you guys to, to really drive that point home that those are real. But look, uh, we'll have a video on that later. I, all I want to focus on right now is that, Hey, we could have a direct coming up and some of these rumors might be true. And I want to get your thoughts on it down below. Now that we've had a section of gameplay, do you think these rumors are true? Do you think they were just some lucky guesses? That's entirely possible. Again, I'm not Mike Odyssey. I don't vet his sources. That's on him. Uh, but he is a friend of the channel. And you know what? Credit where credit is due. So far, everything he has said has checked off. Uh, I know some people want maybe an update on the GameStop flyer rumors from him. Uh, the fl I, I don't have any updates on that. I don't, I don't know anything there. So uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you in that next video. <laughs>